Good evening and welcome to St. Cyprian's. This evening we're celebrating the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father George, assisted by Deacon Andy and Deacon Jake. And the intention for today's Mass is for Ruth Catron. Our opening hymn will be number 208, Praise to the Lord, number 208. And as always, we kindly ask everyone to turn off your cell phones during Mass so as not to interrupt our presentation. Thank you.
God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you. Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. dwells within us. 
the word of the Lord. Why then 
does he not take God on his word? Why does he not let go of the branch to which he is clinging for life? Is God not able to save him? Now many of us may laugh at the story because we can recognize something of ourselves in this man. We believe in God, but when the going gets tough and things do not work out quite as we expect, we are quick to take matters into our own hands or to look <coughs> for help from others. We ourselves are not quick or willing to let go of the branches that impede our spiritual growth. We believe, yes, but we are still people of little or incomplete faith. The apostles, too, uh, the gospel tells us, were also at this time men of little or incomplete faith. For example, they believed in Jesus and followed him, but when they saw the soldiers approaching in the Garden of Gethsemane, what did they do? They abandoned Jesus and fled. At this point, they were men of little faith, and they realized that their faith in Jesus was still deficient. They knew that their faith lacked something. So in today's gospel, they come to Jesus and say to him, Lord, increase our faith. There's also a saying that goes, he who does not know and does not know that he does not know is a fool. But he who does not know and knows that he does not know is a wise man. The apostles knew that their faith was not yet adequate. And they asked the Lord to improve their faith. What steps have we taken in the past year to develop our faith. How much have we prayed? Have we done any spiritual reading? Have we availed ourselves to the sacraments? Have we really participated during Mass? These are all means through which the Lord may increase our faith. In response to the request of the apostles to increase their faith, Jesus tells them the parable about the servant who comes back from plowing the field and immediately starts to prepare supper for his master and to wait on him while he eats. Only after the master's needs are fully satisfied does the master then give the servant leave to attend to his own food and rest. Now you may ask, how does this parable answer the request of the apostles for an increase in faith? Jesus is saying that if we have mature faith, we would put the will and pleasure of God first in our lives. If we have faith, we will not grumble and complain that we have been working for God all day long and now we are tired. We will try to realize that God has come to our aid when and how he deems right on God's own schedule and not ours. Unfortunately, Many of us think that faith is solely for our deliverance or benefit. Rather, faith means 
I will stick to my belief that God loves and cares for me. God's unconditional love for us demands only one proper response from us. Our unconditional love and service of God. So many of us Christians today believe that true and mature faith consists in our ability to obtain miracles from God. The truth that today's gospel shows us is that mature faith consists not in how much God attends to our immediate needs, but in how willing we are to serve God unconditionally without counting the cost. Let us join this evening the apostles in asking the Lord to increase our faith. God bless you. Forever and ever. Amen. Our offering here, number five. 
zero five. We walk by faith. Five zero five. sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. <laughs>
when you call the first order to give you credit by sending down your spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Story of partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially in the of Catherine, for whom we pray at this Mass, and victims from war in Ukraine, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and power is yours forever and ever. as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant for peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us pray. 
us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace.
classes for students and uh, usability is not correct information because we have less uh, Monday and Tuesday classes. It's not again, it's the right place. Just classes on Monday and Tuesday evening. RCIA Monday evening also, this is program somebody who wants to become Catholic or come for deeper in, uh, learning about our faith Monday, same time at 6.15 in the evening. Tuesday, adoration all day, like each Tuesday, uh, after eternal class and 3 p.m. divine mercy chapter to pray together, 5.30 in the evening, rosary prayer and follow this benediction, this ending of adoration. And uh, just to remind you, what we will schedule over to then to become back a craft show. This is uh, October 22nd, you can more details find in the bulletin. And um, next Sunday, what is like once a year, our blanket Sunday, we will help people who are in need. You can see also more details and some extra envelope you can find in the type of pills if you want to participate about this. And uh, what is uh, another event when we come back? Our reverse raffle. In October, we will do this in our integrated hall. Last uh, weekend was announced, and today we are beginning sale of tickets. So tickets you can buy just after Mass in the sacristy, in different sacristy here. Uh, please join and be like first or second if there's some other thing about. Please stand up. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's pray for peace in the world, peace in our families, and especially peace in crime. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy on us. 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 Lord, have mercy on us.